I want to thank you all for tuning in, logging on to another episode of Illuminati News Hour right here on Illuminati Radio. I am your host, I'm your pastor, Mr. Michael Smith. If you are new to this page, please hit that follow button and turn on all of your notifications. Like I said, hit that follow button and turn on all of your notifications. And um, don't forget, uh, this is a special request video. I would like to thank you, Jew Boyd. That's J U Boyd for sending me the donation for this video. If you guys out there have any special request videos that you want me to do, a celebrity you want me to do a report on, or a video on, or a YouTuber you want me to do a, um, a, a video on, or a particular topic you need some understanding on, you may do a video on. Well, that's a small donation of $5. The donation link is in the description box below. Alright, and if you haven't subscribed to my backup channel, the backup channel link is also in the description box below. Alright, so, <laughs> Brother Jew Boyd wanted me to do a, a video on, what's his name, uh, Jerry Rice, basketball player Jerry Rice and his Popeye's chicken commercial. I did my research and a lot of people was calling this racist. I don't see nothing racist about it. But I do see it kind of odd that, you know what I'm saying, because, I mean, let's keep it real here. These celebrities are puppets, whether it be the NFL, whether it be the NBA, whether it be the, uh, the Golf Federation, the Hockey Federation, whatever sports league that tend to draw a large crowd, that is something that the elites got their hand on and anyone who joins these leagues have passed their soul through the fire of Mola and they become willing participants and puppets of the elites. So, you know what I'm saying? So, part of them passing their soul through the fire of Mola is getting endorsements, outside endorsements. You know what I'm saying? Um, that means See, Jerry Rice, being that Jerry Rice got an outside endorsement, that means Popeye's Chicken have given Jerry Rice a check, a big check, to do this commercial. You know what I'm saying? It's the same way if if the, he's, if he do a, a Gatorade commercial. That means Gatorade have given uh, Jerry Rice a big check to do that commercial. See, this is what these celebrities, you know what I'm saying, uh, uh, um, get in the game for. So that they can, you know what I'm saying, make money off of their image now. See, because when they're in the league, they can't make money off their image because they don't already sign that contract. They only able to make whatever the contract states that they are supposed to make. That is the only thing that they're supposed to make. But as far as outside endorsements, that's what these celebrities pass their soul to the fire of Moloch for. That's what they do these sodomite rituals for. You know what I'm saying? Slurping and gurping on a Jewish man's rod. You know what I'm saying? They do that, you know what I'm saying, to get these outside endorsements. They bend over the bathroom stall to get rammed in their ass. You know what I'm saying? They do that to get these outside endorsements. So, you know what I'm saying? So, this is what, you know what I'm saying, Jerry Rice than got in the team for him. He's happy. He got an outside endorsement. Who knows how much, you know what I'm saying, Popeye's chicken then paid him to do this commercial. You know what I'm saying? So that's all. I, that's what I see in this Popeye's commercial. I see that, you know what I'm saying, Jerry Rice got paid to do a Popeye's commercial. Now, I don't see nothing racist about it, but I do see it kind of odd that why if Jerry Rice is doing this Popeye's commercial, why the hell he gotta change his voice into a female voice? Now that's what that's that's what I got that's what I caught. I didn't catch the racist part because hey it, it is not new to every Negro out there that we love chicken. You know what I'm saying? You know, I tell you what, you can go in any black household, you and look in their refrigerator. The main the main meat they have is chicken. You know what I'm saying? You can go to the, the the black neighborhoods, and you know what I'm saying? The main restaurant, the 
you know what I'm saying, the blacks have is chicken. You know what I'm saying? That's why, you know what I'm saying, the Chinese people makes a killing in the ghetto. Why do the Chinese people make a killing in the ghetto? Because the Chinese people sell their chicken wings and rice. Chicken wings and rice. You know what I'm saying? And they give you they give you a big plate of chicken wings. They give you a big plate of chicken wings. I mean now they give you about five chicken wings, but a big plate of rice. You know what I'm saying? You get more rice than a little bit. But you get four chicken wings. You know what I'm saying? And that's what the Negroes in the hood, you know what I'm saying? Them Chinese people, they make a killing selling niggas chicken and rice. Make a killing. You know what I'm saying? So, so to all you niggas, you shouldn't get offended. You know what I'm saying? If 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 you offended by some somebody, you know what I'm saying, making a commercial about chicken, then you should get upset. You know what I'm saying? At Rick Ross. Rick Ross got famous, and what do he do? He goes and he invests in a couple of Wingstop franchises. You don't know say he's racist. You just say he's greedy and he likes to eat chicken, right? But who owns the Wingstop franchises? Because the same people that own that's in 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 ownership of the Wingstop franchises, the same people that is the, in the ownership of the Popeyes chicken. You know what I'm saying? Who owns the Wingstop franchise? Bet you it's a Jewish man. Bet you it's a Jewish man. You know what I'm saying? You cannot be. You know what I'm saying? The the owner of a a a nationally franchise chain. And not sell out. You know what I'm saying? But I do find it odd that Jerry Rice is, you know what I'm saying, he changed his voice into a female voice. I do find that very odd. That's kind of like, you know what I'm saying, Tyler Perry. How did Tyler Perry claim his name to fame? He had to go on TV in a dress and portray to be an older woman. You know what I'm saying? Martin Lawrence had to be Shanae. You know what I'm saying? And even, even, uh, uh, um, uh, what's his name? Um, uh, Fox, Jamie Fox, you know what I'm saying? Had to be a woman, a Wanda. Jim, Jamie Fox had to be Wanda on a living color. You know what I'm saying? Everybody has, in order for the black people to even get ahead, they got to be a woman. You know what I'm saying? And I think that, you know what I'm saying, Jerry, you know what I'm saying, Rice doing this is, you know what I'm saying, is the least showing you that Jerry Rice is defeminized. Because I don't think any straight man will agree to having a voice change into a woman's voice and doing a commercial and that commercial is being aired nationwide. That don't make sense. That's what I've seen about that. A brother Jew boy. It's not a racist thing, but it is a demasculization of the black man thing. That's what it is. But anyway, um, I want to thank you for the donation for this video, uh, Jew boy. You know what I'm saying? If you guys have out there have any special request videos that you want me to do, you know what I'm saying? YouTubers that you want me to do a video on, uh, uh, celebrities you want me to do a video on, or a particular topic you want me to drop some understanding on. It's a small donation of $5. The donation link is in the description box below. And don't forget, people, as you guys come in here, if you just stumble across this page, make sure you hit that follow button and turn on all of your notifications. Hit that follow button and turn on all of your notifications so that you can get this truth. I want to thank you all for tuning in and logging on to another episode of Illuminati News Hour right here Illuminati Radio. I am your host. I'm your pastor, Mr. Michael Smith. Till next time, I bless you.